I'm uh, here with Amy. She's a volunteer at the Sea Life Center, and uh, she works with uh, the visitors and school groups that come to look at the marine life on the docks. And uh, so today we're going to pull up some uh, lids and rings that I've placed in the water. Um, the oldest uh, ones would be over three years and four months. And then I put a, uh, a new lid in uh, this February, uh, so it's a little over four months growth. Okay, let's get started. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so this lid was placed in uh, this February, about uh, a little over four months ago, and already the mussels are growing to quite quite large sizes, uh, which uh, tells me that they're not native mussels. They're uh, introduced mussels from other parts of the world. So how did these invasive mussels get into our water? Good question. <laughs> uh, they come in uh, sometimes through aquaculture activities. Uh, these may have come in uh, on the hulls of ships. And uh, mussels have uh, spread all over the world and probably one of the most invasive species that we have. But these are uh, grow much larger than our native mussel and much faster growing. Our native mussel probably, uh, they only grow for maybe one or two years and almost at half the size of these. Goodness. We have some kids uh, visiting from Salt Spring Island. Come on over and have a look in the marine life that's growing on the dock here. This is August and Sophia. We have a purple sea star here. So right here in the middle of his arms is his mouth, which he, uh, I don't know how you'd say, tosses out his stomach onto whatever he wants to eat and absorbs it back inside those little tentacles that you can see in the middle there. I'm brushing this chitin to uh, look to see to identify it. And uh, what you look at is the uh, plates on the back, the color, and the little hairs on its girdle around the, the side. Uh, this is a native uh, chitin, but there is a Japanese chitin that's found at the head of Ladysmith Harbor, and it's the only place in North America where a population of uh, introduced chitons has survived. Uh, so Ladysmith Harbor is quite unique in having uh, many unusual introduced and invasive species. Uh, whoops, now there's a sea anemone. So the strategy of the sea anemone is to uh, collapse. And to do that, it releases water and then it's much uh, more difficult for predators. So this is a sea star. This is what this will eventually look like once it's pumped out all its water. So Ladysmith Harbor has a tremendous diversity of marine life. Uh, we don't even know uh, all about the species that uh, are found here. There's still many of them that are under study that we haven't been able to identify. Um, most of those have been introduced from other parts of the world, from shipping activities, from aquaculture activities, um, ballast water, a whole number of uh, different vectors. Um, so if you want to learn more about uh, sea life, come down to the uh, Lady Smith Maritime Society docks marina uh, where there's uh, displays and uh, great volunteers like Amy who will be able to educate you about uh, our local life. At the uh, Sea Life Center, you can see tons of different displays that are always changing inside of the center, as well as all the wildlife below it with our underwater camera. And you can see us at um, lmsmarina.ca.